Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? Is it too yellow? Probably. Do I care? Can I do anything about it? No. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you the real tea on Nasty Gal. I have placed a humongous order on Nasty Gal using my own money. This is not sponsored by Nasty Gal. It's a completely brutally honest review. However, I would like to say a massive thank you to 21 Buttons for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I use 21 Buttons all the time. I'm so passionate about this app. I literally think it's so amazing. If you don't know what 21 Buttons is, Firstly, where have you been? It's basically an Instagram for shopping clothes. You can follow all your favorite YouTubers, Instagrammers, even celebrities on that app, and they will post pictures of their outfits and tag it with little buttons that will take you to a direct link to shop that outfit, if that makes sense. And the coolest bit about 21 buttons is that anyone can do it, anyone can join, and if someone buys an item through your link on the app, you actually earn a bit of commission, so you can earn money off 21 buttons. I'm also super excited to announce that I'm holding a 100 pounds, yes, 100 pounds, could do with that in my life, ASOS gift voucher giveaway. So if you would like to enter, all you need to do is download the 21 buttons app, make sure you go over and follow me, and there will be a black banner at the top of my profile, you need to click that, and you're entered easy as that. Let's get into the haul. I have been waiting for this package, let me tell you. Ooh, this bad boy. I am so excited for this. This is going to be a potential summer in the city outfit for me. This is... <sighs> Be cool if I could get it out. <laughs> this is a beautiful white creamy leather jackety coat sort of thing, and I actually have ordered a new pair of cycling shorts to go with this. It's from the Emily Ratajowski, Ratajowski, Rata, Rata's. Here are the new cycling shorts. Right, I'm gonna try this by beyond, and we will see what we think. Ooh, they kind of shiny. Boys and girls, can we take a second, please? I am so obsessed with this. The cycling shorts, I feel like I ordered them maybe a size too small. I am so obsessed with this jacket. Obviously, it needs like an, an iron. Can you iron this? I'm so obsessed. I think it's so beautiful. One thing I do have to say is it is hot. And when I say it's hot, it's Hot. But I'm just so obsessed with it. I think it's really cool. It's really flattering. I like the nude underneath I don't know if maybe I should have got black. I know I definitely should have got a size up because I underestimated these Chunky boys also say hi to my little bird mark. It looks like a bird <laughs> But this is defo a thumbs up. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this thumbs up. I look like a mum Smile kids. So the next thing I'm going to be trying on <gasps> Oh, I'm so excited about this. I actually own the top version of this and I saw Millie Hannah, the queen of Instagram herself. The golden shining angel that was sent down from heaven above. This beautiful maxi dress. Just take a second. <laughs> wow, wow. It's got a little slit in down at the bottom. Oh, it's got two slits in. The more the merrier. I own the top version of this. It's literally like my favorite top in my wardrobe. I'm so obsessed with it. So I knew I had to get the dress version. I think this, I've got a nasty gal leather jacket that's this color, literally hanging up on my door right there. Or with a black leather jacket, just with some cool like DMs that I don't own. So I will need to sort that out. Right, let's go try this on. This dress is the dress of dreams. Obviously, once again, needs an iron. I am so in love with this. The material, the fit, it's so comfortable. I got a size small. It is the perfect size. I feel like it really complements my tan. So flowy. I just feel pretty in it. You know, one of those pieces you can just put on, you feel pretty. I feel like it could be really dolled up. I feel like it could be really casual down. She's a winner. What can I say? The quality from these clothes, I'm honestly so shook. Like, you'd literally think I was being sponsored the way I'm gassing them up so much, but I actually just can't get over how thick everything feels. Like, this is double, this maxi dress is like double line. There's like a, there's like a slip inside, so it's super duper comfortable. Someone take me on holiday so I can run along the beach living my best life. Applications are open, my email's in the description box. Fire it at me. Ooh, okay. <gasps> 
Oh, this one's kind of interesting. Okay, this top I ordered because it kind of reminded me of the Love and Lemon. That's another thing about Nasty Gal. I feel like if you love the Revolve website, you'll love Nasty Gal. This could be a risk. It's this little pink top. It's like kind of trashy, that Y2K trashy. So yeah, let's try this baby out. <laughs> Hi, demonetization. How are you? Okay, this top is risky. <laughs> I have thought it's a cure right now. I mean, it's cute. Do I? I just wish it was a bit more. But I get it. You know, I get it. I think it's really cute. And TBH, sorry, Emma, if you're watching this, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it because I think for a festival or a party or when I'm around people who aren't going to sexualize and judge me, it's cute. And it's a vibe. I kind of feel like... A child but it feels wrong say I feel like a child when I have this much cleavage out I'm gonna quickly move on to the next item before I get my whole entire channel demonetized because I know we like YouTube love you this next piece is really exciting it's basically like a two-piece suit I'm not even gonna bother holding it up because I just feel like there's no point as imagination would say I'm feeling like a boss baby gal this is potentially my favorite thing in my wardrobe today once again needs an iron i actually got this blazer in like a size six i think i still don't know whether i've preferred it even bigger because basically the reason i got it in a six was the model was wearing an eight and the model is tall and the blazer was like literally down to her calves so i was thinking there is no way this five foot three is going to look normal in a blazer that large however looking back master gal i think you might have been playing a little game with me on that one this is what the trousers look like they're really flattering because they've got these like leet things here i paired it with this opoly bikini top and just because I wanted to have this open once again it's from the Emily Ratija Rat the blurred line girls collection and yeah I just wanna hi hand over the ten thousand pound brand deal thank you very much I just enjoy I enjoy everything I love it wow how have I never got into suits before because this is just so exciting I feel like I've got a whole new lease of life not with this hair though sweetheart Jesus Christ on to the next I remember ordering this. I changed top. This little top I'm wearing is from an Instagram called I Am Design. These are what the trousers look like. I actually think they have pockets. Oh yeah, baby, they got pockets. I actually think these are really lovely. I think they're really flattering. This is what they look like from the back. Really neutral, just easy to pair with lots of different things. They actually looked really nice with the bikini top that I just had on, but my stomach is too much of an issue for that to go on camera right now but yeah these are definitely a thumbs up never judge a book by its cover and all that next item we're gonna jazz it up a little bit this is a bit more of a night out piece i love the color of this and i loved the shape this is like my favorite shape of night out dress ever because satin satin can be a dangerous one i have an o poly dress that is just like this but it's in a baby blue and i love it every time i go out in it i always get confidence in it so i thought i would try this one out it looks really long but basically you ruch it it's gonna be really hard to explain so i'll just try it on i'm gonna need some opinions on this one i can't decide if it's flattering and just needs an iron because it's kind of creased in like some of the wrong places or whether it just makes me look frumpy i feel like it's not not tight on my waist so it kind of makes me look pretty straight up and down this is the front of it this is the back I think it looks really nice on the back with like all the ruching and pretty low on the back too I think I got a size 8 in this and it's definitely as tight as I'd want it to go I feel like you can kind of see my underwear through it I probably need to wear some seamless let me know what you lot think about this because right now I'm pretty on the fence I feel like with an iron when I've got more glam on I could feel more into it but right now I just kind of feel like a fat peach and I don't really want to feel like a fat peach on a night out oh I just realized <gasps> I ordered a pair of black cycling shorts thank you very much I literally forgot and I'd even order these I'm not gonna try these on on camera just because they're a pair of black cycling shorts like everyone knows how they look I'll do a little see-through test completely not see-through I'm really enjoying this like shiny material you really can't see anything through them they've got a nice thick waistband but once again I ordered them in a six why did I do that? Why did I do that? The very last item is a pair of shoes. This pair of shoes I saw on, uh, what's her name? Like Matilda Jar. Matilda Jar. Jar. You know, the one everyone follows on Instagram. She's beautiful. She's got an amazing life. Love that for her. She was wearing a pair of shoes like this in a post, um, like casually just with a 
<laughs> casually just with a pair of jeans and a black t-shirt and I just thought she looked so cool and these for me are going to be more of a casual thing maybe a night out thing though because you know they look pretty comfy as you can see the actual heel is pretty flat because of the platform which love that for me I went out in a pair of little stiletto heels the other night Jesus Christ, didn't even make it to the first bar. And I'm not gonna try these on because I'm educated and I know foot fetishes exist and that's a realm I just don't really want to enter right now in my life. Maybe when I'm a few thousand in debt down the line, but I'm doing good right now. So that is the end of my video. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this. And if you can take something away from this, take away that Nasty Gal is an amazing brand. You can literally see it in the quality. I'm so glad I've got all this stuff. I don't think there's one thing apart from the nude cycling shorts, which I'll be sending back. And yeah, I really, really, really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Once again, thank you so much to 21 Butters for sponsoring me on this video. You guys know I literally love them and use that app all the time. I'm always promoting it over on my Instagram. I will have these outfits linked on my 21 Buttons if you would like to shop them, as well as leaving the link 21 Buttons down in the description box, so make sure you go and download it if you don't already. And once again, don't forget yeah, I have the £100 ASOS gift voucher, so if this video is giving you a little bit of shopping envy, oh, you gotta go. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye! Bye.